Hi, I'm Jason Tron, president of Rapido Trains Inc. Here I am in our office lounge, uh, surrounded by wonderful VIA and CN paraphernalia, because I am a, a nut for VIA and CN. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you today about uh, the gearboxes in our locomotives. There's the turbo train, which we brought out in uh, 2008, which had gearboxes that left little to be desired. They were geared for very high speed running. It was our first attempt and uh, some of them had some issues. Uh, but then there's our FP9, our LRC locomotives, which are new locomotives. Those have entirely new drive systems designed from scratch. So I'm going to show you today both uh, the FP9 LRC drive system. You'll see how smooth they run. I'm also going to show you our new turbo drive system for those of you who want to upgrade your old models. So uh, come with me over to the layout and I'll show you what, uh, what we've done. Well, uh, here I am at our display layout. Uh, I have in front of me an FP9 locomotive. This is an early sample of our new FP9. This is the CN version. Uh, it is the only model of the FP9 out there uh, that's actually uh, based on an FP9. It's not a modified version of a different F unit, so it's the only one with the accurate FP9 fuel tank and other details. Um, and you can see that even though it's not finished model, this early sample, we're redoing the, uh, the windshields, the headlights, and the roof fans. Most of the, uh, the details are there, and you can see that it is modified modeled after a, uh, an early 6500 series CN unit with the correct uh, cooling coil, roof hatch, etc. Um, and on the other track is the LRC locomotive, the only model at all of the LRC, uh, Bombardier's uh, high-speed train that rent lasted until 2001, mainly for Via Rail. Um, and this FP9, uh, just like the LRC, is crawling along at uh, less than half a scale mile per hour. Uh, this is our new drivetrain. Uh, you also can see in the uh, other shot there that the LRC has the same drivetrain. Um, so it is able to go really, really smoothly at slow speeds. Uh, as being a completely new design, it can also go fairly uh, smoothly at high speeds. Uh, we've maxed it out at close to 90 miles per hour, uh, which uh, the LRC shows off uh, particularly nicely. Um, with the turbo train, it was our first experiment um, uh, with uh, motive power, and we geared it for high speed, thinking it was a high speed train. Um, and we realized that the, uh, the gearbox, the whole design of it, had to be uh, modified for our future locomotive so that they can go reliably at slow speeds as well as high speeds. So now you've seen the new drive systems in our new locomotives. Those of you with the turbo train, which is our first attempt at a power model, uh, are wondering how can I make my turbo train run a little smoother. Um, while because of the nature of the design of the train it will never be able to go you know, half a mile an hour, it can go a lot smoother than it does. Um, we've designed new gearboxes for it. Uh, they're not ready yet, but they will be soon. They're available at cost from our website. Just uh, visit our website and uh, have a look at the turbo support section. Um, and uh, here's a video for you of a nine-car turbo, so uh, the heaviest train these gearboxes will ever have to pull, uh, going along our display layout at around uh, five miles an hour. And I think you'll see it's uh, the smoothest turbo we've had yet. Thanks very much, and I hope you enjoy the show.